Hello everyone, so it's Michael again, and I am here to show you a card that I wanna to make tonight using the items from the Love Bug Inspiration Box from Bruce Monroe. For those of you that haven't seen it or might not know what it is, Brutus and Murrow offers an inspiration box once a month, and this is the January box that's a Valentine's Day theme, and this is the stamp set. These are all the papers, embellishments, and things. This little postcard comes right on top in the box with this little ladybug enamel pin. It's really cute, so um, I showed this the other day. So tonight we're gonna make some a card using these items and some of the other Valentine's Day collection. So I have already cut all the pieces for my card. I didn't want to sit here and use a paper trimmer tonight and you know, nobody needs to see me do that all night. So what we're gonna start with though is I'm going to stamp my images first. So on this little white card, we're going to use the Happy Valentine's Day sentiment from the Inspiration Box stamp set. So I'm just gonna line this up right on here. The Rouge ink also came in the Inspiration Box, so we're just gonna go ahead and use that ink because I think it's a really nice color for Valentine's Day. And it's gonna really go along the theme of this card. So first things first, we're gonna really ink this up make sure we get it nice and rougey. <laughs> I love the name of that color, rouge. It reminds me of, I don't know, so long ago, there was a movie called, I think it was called The Muppets Take Manhattan. And there was a scene where Miss Piggy was working at the makeup counter in a department store and Joan Rivers actually played the makeup saleswoman and they kept, you know, putting makeup on each other, look ridiculous, and she kept saying, how's that little rouge pig? That's what that reminds me of. Anyways, so we just stamped that on there real quick. Um, we're gonna kind of let that dry and we'll come back to that later. I have another plan for it. So, oh, by the way, this is the Not Your Mama's card stock from Brutus Monroe. It's like a really thick, heavyweight paper. Um, you're gonna see, we're gonna use some markers in just a second here. So this paper is really good for that. Uh, it won't bleed through. It's not gonna have like that pill. You know, sometimes if paper gets like wet, it starts to rub off. It's not gonna happen here. So we're just gonna use, I cut that little piece down. Let me just remove this. And I'm going to use this stamp. This is actually the January stamp of the month for Brutus Monroe. Um, and it's a box of chocolates. It's really cute. So I wanted to use it because I just love it. I think it's like such an adorable stamp. Um, we can really just willy nilly this any way we want because I'm just gonna stamp it on here. We're gonna color it in and then kind of fussy cut around it. Okay. So, on another note, I love Valentine's Day. I mean, I love it because of like the red and the pink and all that and the glitter, but I really like some of the candy that comes out of Valentine's Day. It's like second to Halloween, really. Halloween's obviously such a fun holiday, but Valentine's Day has some really good stuff sometimes. All right, so I think we're good there. We're just gonna go ahead and Plop that down, really get it on there, you know. Get that image good. Oh, look, it's stuck. Peel her off, of course. So, it didn't really work right in the middle there. Well, you know what? So we're just gonna flip this over, do it on the other side. I don't know what happened there. Maybe I was talking too much and not paying attention. Or it's quite possible that this ink pad needs re-inked. This one's like pretty old. This is like a Brutus Monroe OG ink pad. Like I've had this for quite some time. I've definitely been using the Brutus Monroe line for a while. All right, so we're gonna 
go for round two here and see if we can really get her in there. Ah, there we go. That's perfect. That's exactly what we needed to do. All right, so we are nice and stamped up. So we're just gonna set that off to the side now too because we have one more thing that I would like to do first. So this is the toner sheet that came in the subscription box. Well, it's one of them, there's a few other ones, but I chose this one for today. And we're going to be using the Valentine's Day Aqua Pigment Set. So there is the Red Hot, the Candy Heart, and then the white, but it's like a really pearly, shimmery white. As a matter of fact, all three of these, I don't know if you can really see it that well, but they're all like pretty shimmery, which is nice. I love the sparkle and the shimmer. It's really great. So what we're going to do is just take some aqua pigment brushes and we're going to paint this up. So we're actually going to, I'm going to just use two different brushes because I'm using two different colors and I'm like really weird about not <laughs> mixing the colors. So first we are going to go into the red. I've already kind of put out here. We're going to get like kind of a really generous amount of this and we're just going to really kind of like really with a nice little stroke, just real abstract and kind of colored on, just however you want to do it. And again, you don't have to do this to your toner sheet. I just think that it's going to give a really pretty result at the end. And you'll see what I mean in the next step that I have planned, but I like to do, you know, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay, so now we're gonna go in to get some of the pink. Really slather that in there and just start slapping her on. Throw some, throw some pink on there. Get it like real. Real, just make sure it's real nice and covered. We wanna cover all of this white. That is my goal. And we can go back in with some of the red too, but the pink is definitely kind of the lighter of the two. But I just really get it on there. And so when these like mix together like this, I think it, it just gives it like such a really pretty effect. Back with this red. Oop, that was definitely the pink. <laughs> So this was just like really shake it and go, like just get it on there, get the stuff on there, make sure there's like some diversity with the colors. Um, just gonna rinse off this little pigment brush. Cap it back up. So in the essence of time, <laughs> I'm going to use the heat tool to kind of dry this up a little quicker because we don't have like an hour to sit here and wait for this to dry. But before we do that, well, actually, no, we'll do that first. Give it a little bit here. Alright, 
so I know what you're thinking. You're probably sitting there, but Michael, you just like crinkled up your whole paper. It's all warped in that. Don't worry, I have a plan for that. But before we get to that, I do want to get some of the markers out and start this so it has a little time to dry as well. So these are, these are the colors I picked for this. Um, we have, these are also guys, the style file markers. I love these markers. Um, they're great, it's a German brand. But the best thing about these alcohol markers is that they are literally $3.50 a piece. $3.50. That's like such a good deal and they work so incredibly well. So anyways, um, I chose the Vivid Reddish Purple, Cerise, I don't know if that's how you say that, Rose Pink, and a Pale Purple. So we're just gonna kind of go in here. And again, this is gonna be cut out. So it doesn't have to be perfectly in the line. I'm not at all concerned about that. But I do wanna use like the darkest color here on the very, that little bottom section. And then we will go into a, maybe this lighter pink. And like I said, so this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with this after we color it. So it's totally okay if it's not like perfectly colored. Okay, so then I just wanna take this purple. Oh, look, that's the big side. It's like a really pale purple and I'm kind of just gonna get the bottom of this little box go in some of these candies too on like the swirly parts and just get a little get a little of these colors on there um because like I said I have a plan and I am so excited about this plan so bear with me some of you might think I'm you're like, probably, what is he doing? He can't draw, he's out of lines, he's crazy. Well, I might be crazy, but. So this is just the clear blender, so I'm just gonna kinda go in here and blur this out a little bit. Cause I do kinda want it to be a little softer around the edge. And again, perfection is not necessary. It's a craft. I was actually thinking about that today. So crafting and making um, handmade stuff for people, I think is just one of the greatest things you can do because it takes time. Like the, honestly, it takes time to craft. It takes time to plan. You know, it takes time to practice, to make things look really nice. And quite honestly, one of the most generous things like you can give to somebody is your time, if not the most generous thing. So I think that when you guys make stuff and like I make stuff and give it to people, they tend to be like super appreciative because like it really shows that you cared. 
it shows like, wow, they like took the time to make me something, you know? It's not every day that people do that anymore. And you know, that's kind of a shame that more people don't really like get creative. Some people look at me like, what do you mean you do crafts? Like, and I'm like, what do you mean you don't? <laughs> okay, so. Now that the marker is on, I'm gonna go back to the aqua pigment brush. I got the little one this time. And I'm going to use this brown aqua pigment to go into the chocolates and make them, you know, like a little brown. So we're just gonna dip a little in there and just very carefully kinda paint it on. dipping in this because I'm trying to not have a whole lot of drippage. So another story. So tonight I actually, so tonight I went to dinner with my family and my grandmother. So my grandmother turned 80 this week. So we were celebrating her 80th birthday. So I like actually was really excited about that. You know, it's not every day that you can say someone's turning 80. And also, like, funny story, my grandmother still works a full-time job because she, I guess, she doesn't like to sit at home. She still drives herself everywhere. She lives alone. I mean, she really just does it all. And I think to myself a lot, like, if I'm ever, like, tired or feel like I don't want to do something... I'm like, you know what? My grandmother just turned 80 years old. If she can do this, I can do this. I just have to push through. It's like so motivating to have somebody like that. I don't know if you guys have anybody like that, but it's like, it's just like really nice to know that just because you get old doesn't mean you know, life stops or fun stops, you know, it, it's just like, it was a really nice thing. Actually, I went to Bethel Bakery. It's this really great bakery here in Pittsburgh. They have, they use a French buttercream icing. I think it is like literally the best icing ever. It's so good. Like, I feel like I might, honestly, I might eat it off the floor. That's how good I think this icing is. <laughs> As I'm, as I'm painting in chocolates. See, I, that's just it. I think I really like sweet stuff. Um, but, so, I'm really in love with this stamp, though. What about you guys? Oh, also, if you guys have any, like, ideas, suggestions, questions, please feel free to comment and ask me anything you want. Because I'm literally like an open book. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Anything like that. Just leave a little comment. And I will 100% engage with you. Okay. So that is nice and brown. It's kind of as brown as I wanted it to go. So we're just going to clean off the little aqua pigment brush. Like so. And grab my towel here. <laughs> okay, so back to the card base. While whilst this dries. So what we are going to do now is we are going to foil. Now I don't know if any of you are familiar with foiling. You probably are. So I'm going to use, let me grab some, the deco foil. Um, this stuff's great. It comes in a little tube. There's five sheets. They're, uh, I think, 12 inches. And this is the red. Um, so I think I have a piece in here that I already had cut. Yes. So we are going to just take that piece. I'm going to set this aside for now and put that away later. So anyways, all you have to do is, oh, there's a sequin on the back. Look at that. 
So all you have to do, all right, we're gonna do this this way, is make sure that you have enough of this foil to cover over this image. All right, let me do a little cut a little extra, so. Perfect. Um, yeah, so the way that this works is you put the foil on top of this image and then you're gonna, you're gonna run it through a laminator. And as you run it through a laminator, the toner on this paper is going to heat up and adhere to this foil, leaving you with a beautiful foil image. So some people use like a little rig thing, like a sleeve made for this. Honestly, you just need a piece of paper. That's all I do. So you just put her in, put the foil over the image, put this in, and then I have my laminator literally right here. So I'm just gonna stick it in. It should be on its way out in just a moment. Um, and that's really it. So when it comes out, you're gonna have this beautiful foiled image and it literally makes the cards just so much more exciting. I think it just like really punches it up. See, look at this. It's like already almost out. So I'm going to just plop that through one more time. Only because earlier today I was making something else. And I, the first time around it didn't really, uh, it didn't work out so well. And I, I don't know if it wasn't hot enough or what it is. So we're just going to do twice to keep that safe. And by doing this the second time, that image that I used, you know, the dryer on, it's going to be nice and ironed out now. Thank you, foil. So we're going to open it up like a gift. Because every time I peel this foil off, it's like a gift. I'm telling you what, it's like a new experience. Oh, and it's so luscious. Look at this. Look at this. So this whole foil now has transferred on to this this image. I am gonna tell you what guys, this is so pretty. So now you have this aqua pimp, um, excuse me, aqua pigmented shimmery background. And then all the words have this like really pretty shiny foiling over it. I'm in love. And it's funny because it literally says, I love you over and over and over and over. Okay. So, the next thing that we're going to do is this. We're gonna get a little piece of ribbon. Now, this ribbon came in the subscription box this month as well. So I'm going to cut a piece just a little longer than the card with my Brutus Monroe scissors. And I have the red tip on these ones because I use these ones specifically to cut ribbon or fabric pieces. So they're nice and shocked. Love it. These scissors are really good. I'm like a huge fan of a nice sharp scissor. If some of you don't know, I used to uh, actually be a hairdresser. So I have like a lot of experience with sharp, sharp shears. So that's uh, what I, what I like. So I'm just gonna take uh, some of this glue, the Brutus Monroe, uh, it's just glue, craft glue, I guess, and I put some in my little aqua pigment tray over here. And I'm just, I got a little brush and I'm just gonna brush on some glue. I'm using the brush because I don't wanna get like too thick of a bead of glue on there and then it's gonna be like, ooze out all over the place. Like, I hate when that happens. So we're just gonna zibbity-zabbity, <laughs> rickety-rackety. Just throw some glue on it. Okay, now I'm gonna stick this brush in the water so it doesn't dry up with glue all over it and then the brush is ruined. Can you tell I've done that before? All right, so now we're gonna take our little glued up little bit here and just kinda, whoop, that's crooked. Kinda stick it right around there. Press it on, I'll 
crescent seal there. Oh yeah. And then just, we can flip this around. Kinda press the glue, it should, okay. Not what, I'll just use a little more glue here. Even though I already dipped this in the water, that's okay. That is a-okay. Put it back in the water. Get it on there. You see how it like oozed out on this side? Cause I put too much, put too much on. That's definitely what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> Anywho, so we're gonna flip this back over. And then um, you guys get these hearts uh, in the inspiration box. There's a couple different sizes. Um, there's the red, uh, there's this like non-glitter, it's kind of like a shiny, but then also a matte. Uh, but there's this really great glittery, uh, like pink, that I have uh, cut the one in half. So what we're going to do is kind of put this right up at the edge here. Pretty. And I'm going to use some of these little scotch squares to adhere this to the card. These little squares, it kind of raises them up a little bit, like a tiny little bit. It's like a little less than if you used a piece of foam, but like more than if you used a tape runner. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Plus I like them, they're clear fan of a good old clear adhesive. All right, so just line that up with the edge. We're just gonna press that on. Okay, stunning. We are on our way, let me tell you. Okay, so next, we're just gonna take a few little um, flat backs. I think I'm gonna do four. So these are little pearl flatback hearts that um, Brutus Morel sells these. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> for a dollar ninety nine, I believe. And they're great because they're just so adorable. So I'm just gonna take a little dippity do into the glue and just put like a little dot there, and then we're just gonna kind of. Put the little pearl there, and don't worry guys, what I'm going to do is re kind of position these around in a second, but I kind of want to get them all on here first, because this glue is not going to dry in like 30 seconds, so we're good. And the good thing is like, you know, you can always move it around. You can always pick it off if it did dry on there. You can really do whatever you want. Create your own ending. Or don't put these on at all. I just think they add a nice little touch of elegance. You know, a little, a little schmutz little sparkly schmutz on the bottom here. That's, that's a good, that's the, the word we're gonna use today. Sparkly, shiny schmutz. And then I'm just using this little weeding tool to kinda caress these flowers and, or flowers, hearts into place, cause they love to slide around with, with this glue. They're like kinda, Plus, I have such big hands, I feel that, like, it's not always easy to get things perfectly straight that are this little. Okay. Great. So, we're just gonna uh, hope for the best there. <laughs> And we're also just gonna glue on, just like right up in here, just a few little sequins. Just 
just, you know, to add a little, add a little, you know, fun. Just put some glue on there. Plop her down. So this sequin pack came also in the inspiration box, which is great because you can always just add like a few little sequins just around your card, you know, wherever you want. Like, I'm a firm believer, honestly, the more sequins, the better. Give it all you got. So this one's stuck to my finger a little bit. See what I said about these hands? I can't like, there we go. Get her on there. All right, so do you think maybe we should put one more? Hmm. Let's see what comes out of this bag. Oh, perfect, this little tiny guy. And it's stuck to my finger too. If anyone has a better idea on how to put sequins on a card, please, <laughs> please comment and inform me of your great and fantastic way to do it because I would love nothing more than to learn a fantastic new technique. Anything that really like saves time or make something easier. I'm all about it. I want everything to do with it. Fantastic. So I'm just like really quickly gonna take a little bit of soup here and just kind of help her along. Right? Right. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting close to home. So we're gonna set this aside again. So we're gonna take our little, this is the card back. And where are my little, oh, here we go. So I'm just gonna use these little adhesive squares to get these two pieces together because that, this is what I currently have next to me. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay, so the card base itself is this black cardstock also known as Raven. And then this next layer, this uh, pink cardstock came in the inspiration box. So I've already pre-cut these to be lined kind of right up to have like a nice little border. Whoop, just got a little crooked there. And stunning, okay. So that's all that jazz. And you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same little method with these little squares all over again for the top layer that we just made. And I did not forget you guys about the Happy Valentine's Day. Do not forget, but I wanna get all of this together first. Because we are coming down line here. We're at the home stretch. We're making cards. We're having a good time. I hope you guys are enjoying this inspiration box. So little known fact, we actually uh, had a meeting the other day about inspiration boxes. And I am going to tell you what, A, it was like the most exciting work meeting I have ever had. Because it's just so fun. Like, Every time I think some, an inspiration box is like really cool or has the best stuff, then we like talk about the next one. <laughs> and then the next one. So this year, I'm really excited about this year. It's, it's gonna be a ride, it's gonna be a fun ride. It's gonna be a creative ride. So look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness, this is great. So, okay, ne next steps, next steps. We're getting there. We're gonna set that aside again. We are just gonna go ahead 
and cut out our chocolates here. And let me tell you, this cardstock is thick, honey. Thick. But it's good. It's like, well, we stamped both sides, so that's kind of a really bad example, but, um, Cut, cut, cut. Perf. We kind of cut some of the image off there, but oh well, that's okay. No big deal because you are totally going to see what we're going to do to this next. And I'm actually going to do it like once the card is assembled. What? Yes, honey. So, for um, actually for both of these pieces, no, mm, no, actually I'm gonna do it on here. I, I lied. I'm gonna do it right on here. So now comes my favorite part. We are going to go back to our water brush, and we're now gonna go into this the white. Remember this white aqua pigment from the Valentine set? I told you it was like a really shimmery white. So first, we're gonna go right over this. We are going to literally just glaze over this entire sentiment with this white. We are gonna just drizzle her with all of this delicious, shiny, shimmery, liquid, luscious, you name it, I love it. And the thing is, I did this earlier. Okay, so I made this card earlier, you guys. <laughs> Not on camera, because I wanted to make sure that my idea was like legit and gonna work out, because I didn't wanna come on here and have a disaster. I mean, granted, this isn't live, but still. I wanted to make sure that what if I'm going to show you guys content, like I'm actually going to show you things that like are fun, or at least I think are fun. If you think it sucks, tell me and tell me what you think I should do. So now we're going to go do the same thing all over this heart that we colored. And you guys, it's going to give it this shimmery cast like you won't even believe. It's so pretty when it's done and it's dry. It's like, honestly, this is like, I imagine like what it's like to glaze a donut or, you know, ice a cake or something like, or put sprinkles on a cupcake or something. Like that finishing touch, it's just like, ugh. It needed that little extra lift, and here she is. Okay. So, I'm just gonna clean this up a bit here. And I'm just gonna, again, grab the heat tool. And just kind of dry these up just a pinch. Honey, that's hot. Okay. So. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So we're going to go back to the little scotch squares for this here. Just bloop, bloop. Two of those is plenty. Take that off. 
bring her over. We're gonna go all the way to the edge here, leaving some of the pink design that was foiled on the top. And just boop, push her down. So then we're gonna take just Mm. We're gonna use these. It's really, it's just these little adhesive stickers, honestly, is what this is that I have. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but my tape runner kind of like ran away today. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. I was using it earlier, and then I went to start making this video, and I was like, um, hmm, don't know what happened to it. Off. So we're going to take our little pearlescent chocolate box and stick it right here on this heart and just push her down. Really get her in there. Okay, and you guys, we are done. Look at this little beauty. Right? Isn't, isn't it so? Is it fun? I wish you could see on the card like back like this all the shimmer and then all the shimmer on this too it's like from the shimmery aqua pigments it made it like so much fun i don't know can you tell i hope so i mean i know you can tell this glitter is nice and shimmery so um again this was our little project for today i'm gonna try to do a couple more this week with some other things from the box and maybe uh use some of the other seasonal products but remember, anything I use today, you can find at BrutusMonroe.com. If you have any questions about any products, feel free to comment, call us, whatever you want to do. Um, and again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being so supportive. And I know Christopher is really, really extremely appreciative of all of you as well. So again, have a great night and remember to create your own ending.